Whenever I'm in top side control, bring it up this way. Right here. Guy gets an underhook. All right. Like we were doing before, I could come here, but I'm also start wrapping the head. Because if you start sitting up to try to get on top, right, go ahead. Starts away. I can lock my guilt in here. Yeah. Alright, now from here, he hit in a dilemma. If he continues to come up, go ahead. He starts to come up, it's going to be tight right away. It's kind of the, the guillotine trap. All right, so stay on your side here. So essentially, if I'm here, he has me on the hook, he starts coming up. Oh, I'll wrap that here. Okay, and then the next step here is to come to my hip. And now, this leaves my leg ready to step over. Okay, so again, if he's silly, and he tries to come on top, I take the leg over, it's a dungeon. All right. Now, let's say he doesn't come up. He just rolls back to his back. And let's say he does roll to his back, right? I cross over. Now, I have like a guillotine crucifix, which we call the Genjitin. And all I gotta do, it cranks like a crucifix, but it chokes like a guillotine. All right? So, yeah, a lot of people don't know about that one. Was yeah, it? so, so Genjitin. Uh, so, one of our blue belts, his name was Devin, uh, is Devin Genchi. And uh, on one of his nagas, he competed against a Popovich black belt. Caught him like this in 30 seconds. Uh, he actually did it from like a seated guard. This guy was seated here. Boom, he wrapped, and he cut. Another underestimated guillotine position. Have you on your back again? No, I'm not flexible. <laughs> if he's sitting up and people are playing this guard, there's nothing stopping you from doing this. And you're not safe here. Because people think, oh, I pull, I'm going to fall. But when I pull, and I, I could do this just neck too. Right? If I fall this way, right, with the knee on this side, you are done now. And again, it's just like the mounted guilty, except I try to slide my hips. So that attack is particularly brutal. All right, so you have that. Okay, uh, sit up. If you're here and he stays like this, you mount the guilty. Right. Um, if he goes to his back like this, right, and uh, you don't feel comfortable doing that against your team, or maybe you're having issues getting there, you can just choke him there as well. The key is to try to bring your hand as high up on his chest as possible to so that one arm guilty. Like, Still the hand towards the chest. Yes. Yes. I'll do these to use them. Yeah, we can see this right now. Let's get back to this one. I'll turn you over here to get angle. All right. So if I'm here, he sits up with an underhook. I'm on my hip. I'm here. I got my guillotine tongue over the shoulder. If he comes on top, it's done. There. If he, uh, again, if he stays here, I'll mount. Oh, right? If he rolls to his back, right? Cross over. And now, just like the crucifix, you kind of slide your hips out as you lift up on the head. Or if you don't feel comfortable there, right? Pinch the elbow a little bit as you bring the hand up as high up on the neck as possible. Could you yeah, do that slow? One? Just do, I mean, you don't have to choke him, but just do the. The, the, the arm movement. No, the last one. Oh, the last one? Yeah. So if I'm here, right, I'm trying to bring this hand up, 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 oh, up, up. Okay, okay. Okay. All right. As, and again, I can use two hands on this, right? From here, like this, boom. I'm lifting up on the hands, and I'm pinching the elbow. Boom. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
All this also works in half guard. If I'm in half guard, all the same rules apply. The only difference is when you're in half guard, you gotta pop your knee out. So when I, when I do this, I gotta get here. If my knee's out, I'm good. Because for him to get on top, he has to release a little bit. Like, go ahead, get on top. Create space for me. Alright? If your knee is like this, then you're feeding a sweep. Alright? Because he could just turn up into me, and I'm gonna be on the wrong side when he gets up. Because when he gets up now, he's on this side. I want the guillotine on the other side, here. If he sets the underhook before you wrap the head, is it too late? Okay, so we go back in. Go back down. So I'm like this. I'm here. He gets the underhook and he sits up. Yeah. I mean, it depends. Is he trying to do anything yet? A lot of times people are just holding me. Like he might be holding my hips, right? Like he's getting in the position. Okay. Okay. But it's all about this. If you're doing it from half guard, it's about getting your knee out. Mm. Right. And again, this the sink to your hip gets your knee out. Because if I stay here. It's not good, because now I'm committing my body uh, weight too high on him. I'm, I mean, easy to sweep this way, right? Or the other way, really. He could sweep me either way. So for me, when, I, when he goes for that underhook and I wrap the neck, I'm sitting out. I'm, I'm trying to get that knee out. Because you see, as I sit out, I get to pull my knee out, OK? And if he's not doing anything, I'll get it all the way up, right? And I have the. The benefit, I move my hands, lock, lock the half guard again. From here, I have this leg, so I can work to fight this out a bit. Right? So there's nothing saying that I have to move immediately there. And if I'm like this and he's staying put, uh, pummel with the legs. And I can just leave it there, and, you know. If, yeah, if he comes up, he's done, right? If he doesn't, then I'll come up myself. It's also done. All right, so guillotines from side mount, guillotines from half guard, so call it a guillotine trap series, right? You see a lot of fun options. Again, from the half guard, you just make sure that when you do this, you sit up. Because with your legs and his hips, because this is a problem that people get sometimes, that they, they like this a lot and they start doing this too much. But a good sweeper, if you stay here, is going to sweep you every time. Yeah, right? you got to get to that hip. You got to get to that hip. So, if you're not comfortable doing that, then you shouldn't do it for the halfway. I'm just but a little bit confused how you don't get to it. What's the, what's the, you just have to get to that far, far. Yeah. So you just, Here, you see, if Mike wants to bring me this way, it's not gonna happen now. Because mm -hmm. now it's like he's doing a dumbbell fly with 200 pounds, uh -huh. right? The difference here, my weight is on, my ch on his chest. You see, it's easy. Anybody can, move 200 pounds, right, this rolling, right? Which is what happens when you grip and you stay on your knees. So when I stay like this, now the only sweep or reversal really is him coming up to his knees, right? And beating my leg. So that's why I'm emphasizing, if once you sit to your hip, try to escape this leg as much as you can. Because typically, if he has his half guard closed, it's difficult for him to get on top without opening up a little bit, right? So as it's opening up, it gives me the, the option to pass. Questions? Yeah. Let's give this a go. Ready? One, two, three. Whoop.